It begins with the legendary pioneer in wildlife filming. Wilderness, adventure, and fair chase trophies define him. A son adds to the legacy and becomes the voice for a generation of hunters. Today, a third generation pursues trophy big game in places where success comes from skill, determination, and grit. Now, 60 years of hunting tradition comes down to one defining moment. We're the Eastmans. Our family's been hunting and filming out west for over 60 years. And these are just a few of our adventures. This is Eastman's Hunting TV. It's big game hunting, and it's as real as it gets. Eastman's Hunting Journal is brought to you by Sig Sauer, Cryptic, Savage, Eberly Stock, Hornady, and Eastman's Hunting Journal. Welcome to Eastman's Hunting TV. I'm Ike Eastman, your host. Today, we're going to Montana on a deer hunt. My buddy, Andy York from SIG Optics, he drew one of these awesome Montana mule deer tags. Now, he can hunt either mule deer or whitetail. So we're up there just trying to drum up the biggest buck we can find, and we find the Mecca, the honey hole of all deer, and it's thick. So come along to Montana and find out the best way to get a deer out of thick brush. See that? Yep, you're an inch high, it's dead center. That's probably me a little bit. I think we're good. I'm good. <laughs> good. Dead center? Yep. You can't get any closer to left and right on that. Okay, you see the see the green trees, the green bushes in the bottom. Yeah. To the right, there's just a couple in the bottom. Yeah. Look up on that little knob. Maybe they'll bump something out of there. They're all the way over there now.
This portion of the show has been brought to you by Baku e-bikes, the scent-free way to get you farther, faster. Eastman's Hunting Journal is brought to you by Sig Sauer, Electro Optics, Cryptic, Battlefield to Backcountry, Savage, where better comes standard. Well, folks, I'm hunting this week with my friend Andy York from Sig Sauer Optics. We're in search of big bucks in Montana. The temperatures are cold, especially with that windshield. We're seeing a ton of young bucks, but not quite that big one that we're searching for. Eastman's Hunting Journal presents advanced tips and tactics. Brought to you by Eastman's Tag Hub. Your hunt starts here. For today's Tag Hub tip, we're gonna take a look at the new outfitter preference point that was passed last year for non-resident applicants in the state of Montana for big game combos. Now, in the past, it's been hard to draw big game combo in the state of Montana, and especially non-residents that want to hunt with an outfitter. So what the state did is they made it so an applicant can buy an outfitter sponsored preference point and they can buy a regular preference point going into the draw for that year to draw their deer elk combo. Now historically it's only taken two points to draw that combo license for a non-resident. So Pretty cool if you have an outfitter lined up to hunt in Montana, it makes it really easy for the hunter to get a tag that year. In addition to that, Montana landowners can also apply with landowner preference. You need 160 acres to have landowner preference for deer and antelope. You need 640 acres or a section if you want landowner preference for an elk. The tricky part is, is you have to pay attention to some of these states, especially you non-resident guys that aren't landowners and you're just a public land hunter, for example, the most coveted mule deer tag in the state of Montana is in the Bitterroot Valley, 270.50. It's not really a secret, 8,100, almost 8,200 residents apply for it. 
But the kicker is non-residents. There's four non-resident applicants that apply for this tag. Now, Montana only allows up to 10% of tags go to non-residents. So there's 45 tags in the unit. There's four tags that will go to non-residents. There's four landowners that apply for the tag. They get preference over the general public. So if you're the general public guy that applies for 270-50 and you don't have you know, landowner preference, you have 0% chance to draw that tag. So be sure you look at these details before you apply, but there are plenty of options in the state of Montana, whether you wanna hunt for an, with an outfitter or just hunt DIY. This portion of the show has been brought to you by Swagger Bipods. Hunt is what we do. Eastman's Hunting Journal is brought to you by Eberly Stock, get out there. Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. Zamberlin, discover the difference. This is Eastman's Hunting TV. We've been focused on mule deer for the past couple of days. However, Andy's tag works for whitetail bucks as well. We came over the snob and found what could be our target buck, an old, mature whitetail. There's a deer over that hump. Nothing comes out. I think everything's over. Which we have to get over here. Get to that next part. Brush where they're heading. We probably should try to get on them before they get too settled in, but at the same token, we're sitting ducks up there. Eastman's Hunting Strategies is brought to you by Onyx Hunt. Know where you stand. Hey guys and gals, Brandon here with your Onyx tip for this week. Now, Onyx, as we have said, has a ton of different tools and layers that you can use to help you be more successful in the field. And even, you know, quite honestly, just to make the experience more enjoyable because you can really hone in on, on different land features and access points. Well, with Onyx's foliage feature and their satellite imagery, you can really hone in on the terrain features like we did on this hunt to help you plan a stock, get close enough, and then seal the deal and make a good shot. And so we saw a bunch of whitetail deer. We were actually trying to get a mule deer, but then we saw a couple, saw a couple really nice whitetail bucks with a bunch of does go down into this creek bottom and they were moving pretty fast. They got down into this creek bottom and then we lost sight of them. We never saw them come out. And while we couldn't see down in there very well, we knew that there was probably going to be some thick bedding cover, but we didn't know exactly what it looked like. And so we used Onyx before we got to the spot 
to get a tentative plan of attack, knowing our wind direction, knowing we had limited time on this hunt to, for Andy to punch his tag, we had to make the most of this opportunity. This may be his last chance on this hunt. And so we use that layer, we use that information in Onyx, and we approach very carefully to get in close within rifle range, but then really plan our stock carefully. Then we could firsthand see what the terrain, what the cover looks like, and then we could have a plan of attack to harvest this buck. To take our game from the field to the freezer and everything in between, Eastman's hunting TV depends on the razor sharp replaceable blade knives and game processing sets that get the job done fast from Outdoor Edge. Eastman's Hunting Journal is brought to you by Outdoor Edge, quality knives and tools for the big game hunter. Black Rifle Coffee Company, fueling your mission. Eastman's Hunting Journal, your stories, your photos, your magazine. Thanks for sticking with us on Eastman's Hunting TV. As we tried to close the distance on the smart old buck, we were too late. He had bedded down in some thick brush we resorted to using some unusual tactics to get him up and in a shootable position. My Grandpa Gordon's deer call just might do the trick. That's unbelievable. Thanks, buddy. That was awesome. Beautiful Montana bug. It's crazy how he's bombing it on the He's still got a little velvet on his tip. That's something. I mean it's it's October. Uh end of October and he's still got velvet. Um and he's growing a little kicker here. Yeah. But it's in a split brow time here. He's been raking, you can see he's been But I'm not understanding why he's still the velvet. Appreciate you coming out. Yeah, thanks. It's always man. fun hunting with new fellows and old friends, and this yeah. was a lot of fun. It was fun. That worked like gangbusters. Mule deer country, 
knocking over a whitetail. Well, when you have the it was a big surprise. When you have an opportunity to shoot a buck like this, you don't pass it up. No, it was awesome. It was a fun stock, you know, creeping over the top, chasing you guys in here. Chris did a great job. You did a great job. We went a long ways, actually. Yeah. We went a long ways. It was a great hunt. You made a hell of a shot and buck down, gun, Kufa yeah. Capisha. Didn't need the long distance setup, but uh, 150 yards <laughs> got it done. <laughs> 300 went right through him. 300 wind mag was a little <laughs> overpowered for that, but it worked. It did. It anchored him. It did. Yeah, it's just a lot of fun. Folks, thanks for joining us today. And remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. We'll see you next time right here on Eastman's. And remember, trophy hunting is conservation.